Welcome to a special inside edition of Eat My Shorts, where this crazy bastard has a house all to himself. How is everybody doing today? Good. I'm glad you don't say. People are fucked. Well, eh, that's nothing new to me, but on to the matter at hand. Let's discuss my morning, okay? Woke up, got things done, sh shower, shave, shampoo, the whole works. You know, farted around the computer for a few and did other things, and then I went out and about to go mail packages, right? You know, by the way, Loretta, Lazaric, Metal, North Shore, get a hold of me when you get your stuff. I want, I want to see how you like it. But on to the matter at hand. Bank cards, why they suck. My father's bank card, right? We're supposed to leave it on. I'm supposed to be able to use it. Didn't work. I'm out some money because of it. Fortunately for me, I had some put back. And that's fine. I'll get reimbursed for that today. But, always have some cash on hand. Okay? Second matter at hand here. Telling people that, you know, in your daily life, you know, that you've lost a loved one or whatever when they ask how the person's doing. Kind of rough, but you get used to it after a while. You know, that's, that's tough. So, after I got done dicking around at UPS and all of that, I went to the gun shop looking around because I realized it's Tuesday and I wanted me a fucking pizza. So I went to my favorite pawn shop, and I looked at the price of a Glock. Do you know what a Glock costs nowadays is $593 motherfucking dollars. Brand new cash price out the door. They want $700 for it if you pay for it with a card. Now, I went to another gun shop because, you know, I was just, I'm on my way home, and it's that's where the pizza is. And that's where the family friends were. I actually have two gun shops that family friends work at. I get a discount, but... Uh, it's neither here nor there. So, I'm at this other gun shop and whatnot, and I'm bullshitting with them and everything. They, they're selling right now a Taurus pistol for 300 bucks. Now, people say, well, if you buy a $300 gun, it's half the quality of a $600 gun. That is absolute fucking horseshit. I have carried this G3 full-size gun around with 11 magazines off and on, depending whether I'm carrying a bag with me or not. <laughs> For a year and a half, and I've put a number of rounds through it, not a real high round count because of my father's declining years and illness, but this gun has been handled a lot and it has been abused. Now my Gen 3 Glock wouldn't have put up with torture like that. It wouldn't. I know because I tortured the hell out of my Gen 3 21 long slide and my Gen 3 20 regular slide. Those guns had teething trouble. And 10 millimeter, even back in those days when President Sambo was around, was like $60, $70 a box for 50 target rounds. So my question is you today, right now, in the year of 2022, today's date's like the 25th or something of October, what do you want out of life? Do you want to hold out for a buy once, cry once thing? And you get all of those wonderful warranties and shit that you might actually have to use, and it turns out you might not be as covered as you think you are, for buying technology that's 40, 50 years old, and some of it's even older if you go back to the Browning tilting breech design, or do you want to go with a moderately priced, reasonable quality firearm that will do every job you want it to do? for a price you can actually afford. Sound off in the comments, but I'm going to go warm up my pizza and have a fine-ass day, all you people.